Well, they brought him in and they strapped him down. And uh, I stood right next to him. And he kept looking at me. I told him it's going to take, uh, from, from my knowledge, it'll take nine to 12 seconds for that first medication to go to work. And you'll be totally asleep. You won't feel another thing. So I was holding his right hand, and the executioners, two of them, came in, one big tall man and one short man, and they always started with the left arm. And they put ace bandage around the hand and tighten it down, and sometimes tape. Then they would go for the vein right in the middle. And they would, most time they were successful, most time. But it's traumatic to watch. It was traumatic to watch. Because I had told Carlos to Luna, I said, you're going to, that was going to be the only pain. That's all I had seen before. But he said, you know, I just want to thank you, Daddy, for being my daddy for one day. Well, that, yeah, I couldn't cry. No, I, I never have been able to. And I wasn't supposed to, first of all. And Carlos gave his statement, which is, I have his accurate statement. Kathy has his accurate statement. The book doesn't have his accurate statement, but it was very sweet, if you want to use that term. It was very sincere. He loved his family very much, and he was sorry that it ended up like this. But we had been talking all day about how his life had not been a good life, and it, he just messed with the wrong crowd, with the wrong people at the wrong time. And then he told the guys out on death row to hang in there and he looked up at me you know and he had a big old brown eyes I'll never forget those brown eyes I can dream about his brown eyes I saw the the fluid changed for the drop and the sodium tripentothal started and uh, I had told him I said you know it's going to be nine seconds and you'll be asleep well about Oh, 10, 15 seconds, he raised up his head. Our heads aren't strapped down in Texas. And he looked at me, and it really hurt me. Because I knew the time had, had passed. The other guys had gone to sleep. They had given their cough or whatever it was. And then he lay back down. And I wonder to this day, what was he thinking? And then about ten, another 10 seconds passed, and he raised his head again. Nobody ever done this. I, I was, you know, those big brown eyes were wide open. Here I'm five inches from his knee, five, inch, five feet from his face, and he's looking straight at me. And, and I don't know what the question was in his brain. I don't know what he was thinking. You know, if I wanted to be paranoid, I could say he was thinking, you lied to me. But he was not that type of person. So, you know, I could imagine a million things. And then he lay back down. And I saw the bubble come at 24 seconds. And that the pavulon started. And that's what freeze, froze his muscles, and his eyes closed. We waited, and then I saw the next bubble come, and that was the potassium which froze his heart, and he was pronounced dead 10 minutes after the first drug. They used to keep records, and they tried to beat six minutes his was ten minutes and that's what hurt me you know that those 24 seconds 